Jesse? It was a very scary, very scary project, very scary picture. Do not try to call or signal anyone. If you do, I will kill your daughter, not because I want to, but because those are the rules. Daddy! Well, I think it would be every parent's nightmare. You want what they want. They know that you know the number. They're going to kill my little girl you don't tell Stop the it. number. Stop it. We're out of here. Bring her. Just a lot of twists and turns and, and uh, exciting stuff. You set me up, Lewis. No. He's keeping Sarah hostage. What do we got? Load up the email, no ID. I work homicide, Dr. Zach. That's Sarah. The more. It's a classic Hitchcock uh, fable. It's a telephone number. No. An address. No. An account. I don't know. It's a bank account. No. Is it a code? No. Is it a place? No. What is it? No. I love the idea of having two and three storylines coalescing in the second act into a uh, pretty amazing third act. Say goodnight to mom. Night, mommy. Mm. Night. Mm. Sleep tight. For my taste, a thriller is only as good as, as the people uh, you care about in the picture. Only two now. Things really moved very quickly in the yeah. film, and at the same time, the notion of family wasn't lost. Daddy! Daddy! If you don't care, if you don't engage, you then the film has no meaning. Go to bed now? Yeah, let's cut it. We show to the audience that we're a very close-knit unit, a family that loves each other very much. Baby. Well, honey, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Michael Douglas is a, a wonderful actor. I mean, that, that's a given. I don't even have to say that. Everybody knows that. He's extremely professional. He's wonderful to work with. I think Michael walks on screen with, um, like the way John Wayne and Gary Cooper does, with a, a fantastic degree of persona. And, and also in, in kind of great baggage. Welcome. I always try to keep a, um, a comfortable environment on the set anyway. I just think people work much better when they're relaxed. He's very giving, and uh, I feel very fortunate to have been cast as his wife in this film. Go say goodnight to Mom. Good night. Night, Mommy. The actress who plays my mom, Famke Jansen, She's real nice. Famke Jansen playing Aggie Conrad cannot leave her bed. You know, she is in a very, very volatile, dangerous situation, and one where she's completely helpless. Here's Superwoman lying in bed, and she works out all the time, and, you know, she's just in control of everything, and I just wanted to make her very human. There was a scene where I, she has to play the Game Boy, and she said, I'm so bad at this, it's not really funny. Please help me out. And I said, I'll, I'll teach you. We ended up playing Game Boy, and she actually taught me, because, of course, I don't know how to play that either. But she's still not that good. <laughs> you have to be able to improvise when different things happen, and Sky was great for that, too. And I think Sky, when we had our first reading, uh, was the one that impressed all of us the most. She's not smug. There's no arrogance to her. There's simply a sense that she's just she's a smart kid. And it's really quite amazing to watch. We had some cheeseburgers. We have these they're kind of cute little scenes. I'm trying to not get attached to her, and she just starts picking me apart. It's that thing on your neck. She's pushing every one of my buttons. It's kind of impolite not to answer someone's question. And I end up, you know, just about end up singing, singing along. She's singing a song. You like country music? Mm-hmm. The best thing about that is I really am a singer. Pink toenails. How am I gonna get pink toenails? And I'm just like, la da dee, la da da. <laughs> Elizabeth Burroughs. Gary and I must have seen, I don't know, 30 or, or 40 young women. Brittany Murphy walked into a meeting with us and just blew us away. It was mainly the character that drew me to the story. It kind of jumps off the page and into my arm and somehow into my body. One that would be 
I just know somehow I'm fortunate enough to know and if you trust your instincts, then things work out the way they're supposed to. Our hand movements, uh, playing this girl that was supposedly disturbed, with no coaching at all, she was the girl that we were thinking about. The keys to the picture is the fact that Brittany Murphy's character, Elizabeth, is that maybe she's not quite as disturbed as, as they think she is. You're very, very good at what you do. The mixture of, of rage and madness and vulnerability was just, it's, you can't act that. It's sort of in your soul. I don't know who they were or what Please. they wanted. But now I do. Please. I know how bad they wanted it. Please. I know how important it was for you to hold on to. Please. She's a wonderfully talented young actress in the unique habit of uh, sort of singing just before each take. It was very kind to ask if it bothered me, and I said no. Yeah, I know. Well, I'm trying to go for a B camera, too. So. I think one of the most challenging scenes in the film, which I'm also most proud of in the end of the day, is the, is the subway sequence where Brittany Murphy goes back to the subway in Canal Street and relives the death of her father. I tried to keep my pizza going. I really felt that, that what made the se sequence work was a performance by, by Brittany Murphy in recounting the event, both in the moment, but also to sort of be suspended in time. And also the, the performance completely unwritten and improvised by Sean Doyle, who plays her father. My dad took me around the corner. You know, there's a lot of pushing and shoving, and then there's all the action of me falling and getting hit and everything, but Gary made sure that there were moments when there was actual contact, connection to the daughter, so that the audience is left with the last times that the daughter saw her father alive. Okay, this is gonna be okay? You and me just get away right here. Right here, no matter what. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be all right. Right here. It's not just about making a thriller, it's about hopefully making a great movie. The core of a thriller working is to care about your protagonist. Everything else from there is simply window dressing. I mean, the cool camera moves and...